All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so before we start building slideshows and cool stuff in JavaScript, I want to do a couple examples of JavaScript dealing with CSS. So let's run a program right now. We'll, we'll create a program that deals with some form of CSS. So for this example, we'll use jQuery, and for the next video, we'll just use regular JavaScript. So follow along. So you guys know first things first is that when we are using jQuery, we need to source it in. Let's see how good my English is right now. Ready, function, get rid of this. Let's create our curly braces. What do we want to execute? And I'm going to create a button. Button is going to be the, the ID, the Q. And I'm going to use the method of click. So when we click on our button, something's going to happen. What's going to happen? I don't know yet. Actually, I kind of know. Kind of have an idea of what it'll what I want to do. And let's drop down this line. And we'll say when the button is clicked, we will change our paragraph text as background a certain color. So let's go ahead and nope. Double quotations. Have P in there. Dot CSS. This is the method that we need. Dot CSS is our style right now. And background color uh, what color should we change it to? we'll change it to blue is that cool with you guys oh sorry about that and let's put a closing parentheses on that lock that up here as well consolidate this code just a tad okay great a little recap of what we did, we called our jQuery and we said that button is our element and when we click on that we're going to change the, para the paragraph text background to blue. So when we create our paragraph text down here, we should make it any color except for blue obviously so we know that it's working. So what I'll do down here is let's go ahead and create some paragraph text and we have some inline CSS and we'll call this, oh we got to give this a background color and you can either call it blue or red or if you know the hex pattern I know a really cool orange I think it's FF4800 and we'll say this is paragraph text close that up and we'll do another one steal this copy that and I'll just change the color around. See if this will show up in green, just like that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to open it up in my browser. Google Chrome should be okay. Okay, great. So, oh, we didn't create our button. I'm sorry. Let's go back here. Button set background color of P. Let's close out our button tag. And this is actually a lot of HTML5 we're doing right now. Because HTML5 is just kind of a big burrito between CSS and JavaScript um, with HTML5, which supports, you know, iPhones and tablets and stuff like that. So let's reload this. Internet's going slow right now. Why is that? Switch to... Okay, great. So we have our button. Set background color of P. Well, if you look at P right here, we set our background color blue. Let's see if this works. We click on this. This should both change to blue. There it is. So we just created a JavaScript programming using jQuery and adding CSS. So in the next video, let's do one more example of uh, dealing with JavaScript and CSS without using jQuery. All right, guys. Good luck. See you over there.